our deputy president uh, came here. He told me that uh, whenever he sees this house, to him it is a little bit traumatizing, taking into consideration uh, what he had earned. But I've told him that uh, you have become good people. And we have decided that uh, things will never be the same again. <laughs> and Your Excellency, we have sat down with these people, we have talked with these, with, with these people, and we have agreed that we are the people who are going to lead this country, the yoke and the burden of debts. We have agreed to take that role of make, making sure that we save this country from burdens. And I've told them, as good people, that they have been given that name, the Savior. And the name, the Savior, they know what it means. We are the people who are going to go down in history as the people who saved this country from what we are suffering from. And we have agreed that moving forward, we are going to do things differently. It is going to be a revenue authority which we will be meeting the aspirations of the Kenyans and making sure that whatever the country intends to do, it will be delivered by whatever you'll be collecting in Kenya Revenue Authority. We have agreed that we, have, we must change our culture and our way of doing things. And we have agreed that uh, I had a candid talk uh, with our people in Embu, and we came up with a way forward. I told them that I will protect them. As long as they will be doing the right thing, I will be there to protect them. And nobody, KRI is going to become a no-go zone. Nobody will ever give you a call telling you how you are supposed to conduct your business here. And we agree that uh, in terms of training, Your Excellency, for a very long time, these people told me that uh, there was a deficit in training, and we have agreed that uh, we will start training them, we will start uh, capacity building, and we will start making sure that we change our culture.